Hello everyone, Deviant Fun here with another flash review from an yet another manga title. Like we said, we're investing in stocking more manga uh, because we also feel we know the market is looking for it, but it's not only that. Uh, I myself, as a reader, feel the need to uh, escape from what I believe that uh, uh, is some convoluted storytelling in, in the big two and, uh, and even so, even if I like the books, of course I like some of them, I don't like them all, everything that, that is coming out. Uh, it is a very, manga is a very different type uh, of storytelling uh, even the subjects that are treated in the books are very different uh, and there are lots of variations of, of subjects that are addressed in the books. So it's always refreshing to pick up a manga, then pick up an European comic, then a Marvel or a DC title, a, in, an Image Comics, an Aftershock, whatever, mix it all up. Uh, I like to do it uh, and I, so I hope uh, that you also like too, but if you're not into manga, well, I hope this, these videos can help you uh, decide if manga is for you or not. For example, for in this particular case, this is not a book for everyone, I would say, and I think that just by looking at the title, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, well, uh, you can pretty much uh, take it that it's it's targeted for uh, I wouldn't say that it's not targeted for adults but it's more more targeted for for a younger audience right uh, the simple concept of someone being reincarnated as a bubble of slime uh, well that's kind of uh, uh, well weird <laughs> And if you're looking for serious, serious books with serious subjects, then this isn't for you. This is a fun book uh, to read. Uh, I can tell you that I've read it a few days ago and I still remember it very vividly. So that tells something about the book. Maybe I enjoyed it more than I think I did because I have perfect recollection of almost all the book and that doesn't happen with not a not not even 50% of the books that I read uh, so yeah there's something to it so of course as you as you understand there will be a guy that will get killed and he will reincarnate in a very special way so in the first pages you see the the mishappenings that that that, that lead to his death then he doesn't understand quite clearly what has happened. Uh, am I in a hospital? It's all dark, I can see a thing. Uh, what, what the hell happened? Did I die? Where am I? And so he starts hearing a voice that you can see with these, these uh, thought bubbles that have some spikes, they're different from the other ones. Um, and you can think of, of this as like a it, it, it has some video game uh, elements to it. So this is a voice of, let's say, um, an, an entity that uh, is registering and uh, it serves as a, an encyclopedia and uh, um, it can hold inventory uh it will track the skills that uh, the slime the the slime blob will gain so as he dies he immediately gains uh skills he hears these voices saying okay you have just acquired the sage skill and you have been up upgraded to extra skills sa great sage uh and etc and etc and it's wondering what what the hell is happening and then uh with with each power he gains or each upgrade uh, he suffers he or it it depends on how you see it it was a man now it's just a blob 
uh, something different will happen. So uh, as 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 he gets upgraded to a great sage, for example, he has this uh, sense, uh, this magic sense of the surroundings. Uh, he can uh, start feeling things. The things he touches, he rubs on, he can start feeling them. And then he acquires another, yet another skill uh, when he crosses over some leaves and ta-da! Extra skill acquired. And that will, uh, as, as he progresses and the adventure continues, he will be upgrading himself uh, he will gain vision through some acquirements, the combination of acquirements he will get. So that's the way the author uh, got with the help of a, of a colleague, as he says uh, on the book, uh, how to get, uh, how to express visually uh, a book that is portraying uh, a, a creature that has no eyes, right? Uh, I must, I must render something. <laughs> so yeah, he starts getting some minor senses of surroundings, and he will uh, late then uh, ultimately acquire um, um, vision. Uh, and it's 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 funny how he, he upgrades. There are some. Uh, some intelligent ways and uh, creative ways that he gains his powers and abilities, uh, and so he progresses. He will pro be progressing in the in the adventure. Uh, he will meet uh, foes and make friends. Uh, even get followers. He will get a lot of followers because this blob. I can tell you, it's a bit of a spoiler, but not too much. He will become an important uh, blob, <laughs> uh, an important slime, piece of slime. So what you'll see here is his journey as he meets uh, different characters, different uh, species, even different environments. And you'll see him being upgraded and dealing with uh, situations that he doesn't know how, how to handle properly and he just uh, tries to get away uh, in a smart way and sometimes it works, other times it doesn't work at first but he is quite clever and uh, gets around it and gets to the end result he wants in the, in, the, in the same way. So he will eventually also gain speech which makes the, the, the story more interesting. You'll see him practicing once he acquires a certain skill and he will be able to to um, communicate with with the civilizations that he will meet uh, and the creatures that he will meet and like I said he will be an important uh, he will gain so much because of a special situation he is a very fast learner and acquirer uh, of upgrades so uh, it will it, soon he will have a, a mystical aura around him that is uh, viewed by the other people. He, he doesn't understand that at first, but then someone tells him, whoa, you have a very powerful aura, and they start worshipping him, and that's when he understands that he's getting super powerful uh, and starting to get to be a big influencer, uh, and he will manage uh, problems uh, help help these these guys that have some problems with with the dire wolves for example and from that uh, a new new allies will will emerge new powers will be obtained because he, because he can absorb is a is a blob right is a is a slime uh, he can absorb uh, things and get the powers and the characters characteristics that those th things have uh, so there will be a bit like One Piece you will see him encountering uh, different and different situations always different uh, new new people 
So it's very dynamic in that way. The story never stops. It seems that there are always new elements coming into 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 place. So it, it does remind of, of One Piece in the, in that in that as aspect, the rhythm it it has. Uh, so I was quite surprised to enjoy this book as much as I did. I'm not saying that it is a superb book and that that this is a book for everyone. It's not. I don't think it is. Uh, but it's quite funny. Uh, it it does, and I think the purpose was to be. Uh, to have some comedy in it, I think it was achieved. Uh, it's funny, it's whimsical, it's uh, it's a fun read, a light read, uh, but still, it's a memorable read, like I said. So, if it's memorable, then it means it is well told. That that I can assure you. Uh, even even if the matter might be quirky, if it might have some quirky things here. Uh, because, like I said, it, it mixes uh, video game uh, type of things with, with an alternate reality where he's not even a person. Uh, so there's a lot of, of, uh, of quirkiness here. But it, it does work out. For example, when, <laughs> when he gets, gets grabbed and held uh, and ho held against the breasts, uh, the breasts of beautiful women, is just in he in heaven, right? And you see his thoughts, and it's it's super funny. Look, she's she's holding her breasts on top of him, and is ah, I'm in heaven. <laughs> so it is it is a funny book. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be uh, this good, like I said. Uh, I was counting on a more childish and um, empty of content, but it turns out it is a fun book. Uh, I would gladly read number two if I had it here. I don't have it, to be honest, in the store. We don't have number two. We do have the, the Trinity. Trinity, uh, I think it's Trinity. Uh, there's a there's a new series after this one ended. Uh, but yeah, I think I've said enough. Uh, as you understood, I was surprised, positively surprised. The book is not for everyone. You have to read it with an open mind. Understand that this is not an adult-oriented book with. Uh, very serious subjects it's for you to have fun and it accomplishes that so uh, that's it if you are interested in buying it uh, feel free to uh, to go to our online shop at deviantfun.biz if you live in Europe uh, and I mean the the European Union Brexit is out sorry uh, you can buy from us uh, our postage fees are quite low, I think. Uh, they're very reasonable. Um, and yeah, and if you like these videos, if you like seeing these review videos, live through videos, uh, why not like the, the video? And more than that, subscribe the channel because we're always putting out new videos. Most of them are in English. Sometimes you'll find one or another in Portuguese because we, I am Portuguese and the shop is Portuguese, is located in Portugal, run by Portuguese people. Uh, and so, of course, we also have to, to tend to our Portuguese customers and we translate books. Though almost every Portuguese person knows his English uh, fairly well, uh, uh, not everyone knows English or likes reading uh, in English so yeah that's that, that's a market that we, we can't uh, discard right yeah. it's not mandatory to know English I don't know French in good enough to read so uh, there are some comics that I don't read and I would love to read but they're in French and I'm afraid that I won't understand them properly that I will miss out on, on some things because my French is very rudimentary. Uh, so I can perfectly understand uh, that that happens for English for, uh, for to, to, to some people. 
to some Portuguese people. Uh, yeah, so I have nothing more to say except to wish you a happy week, no matter what the day you're watching this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video because it won't be uh, it won't be too much time before we post another one. We're, we're always posting videos of reviews and leaf throughs. So until then, stay well, have excellent reads, be happy. So Deviant Fun out in three, two, one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.